Hello there. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different uh, this time. Um, <clears throat> just going to do a quick uh, video on this box set that I just got. Uh, it's my first Radiance uh, title. It's Cosa Nostra. La Cosa Nostra. Um, yeah, from Radiance Films. Um, three films, and this contains a booklet as well. As you can see, it's still sealed, but I did pre-open it so that I wouldn't have to have to suffer too much with uh, tight uh, plastic here. And this this cool little I guess you could call this a J card uh, but not it's not really a J card it's something that looks like it because it's supposed to come off anyway it's not uh, permanent Let's see if I can get this off Um, how many of you guys are into Polizio Tesci films? Italian uh, crime films. Um, yeah, so this comes off. It looks kind of cool the way they place this on the packaging. But it is meant to come off. Always take these off very carefully. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there it is. Got some tape there. And I go very, very slowly because these can, if you pull these too hard, sometimes the tape will be really, really uh, ingrained into the uh, box. So it's, you your usual round piece of tape it's not very strong tape uh, thank goodness but there you have it so yeah it's kind of a J card thing I don't I don't keep these things it, it, it this style of J card looks very nice it's very classy and I guess radiance is going for class with their um, packaging and but ultimately this goes in the trash because I I don't know if anybody if anybody else if anybody keeps these I I don't I go these go straight into the trash um, but they are they're quite nice but yeah let's move on um, so yeah this contains three these three films the day of the owl <clears throat> the case is closed forget it and how to kill a judge I think how to kill a judge has been available previously if I'm not mistaken from Blue Underground I think Blue Underground released that on Blu-ray uh, many years ago so uh, the, the other two films may be Blu-ray premieres, at least in North America. Um, yeah, so there's a look at the spine. And this is the front. Yeah, very nice uh, design style here. La Cosa Nostra. Franco Nero in Three Mafia Tales by Damiano Damiani. All right, so these are three Damiano Damiani films. All right, and... Nice rigid uh, slip case there. Very nice, high quality. What do we got? We got 
the day of the owl. You know, these are criterion style cases. Very nice artwork there. Back. Uh, I kind of like the back. I like the fact that it, uh, it's not cluttered with a bunch of uh, information, specifications, and whatnot. I, I, I really do like, I, and I appreciate that, because I don't like uh, clutter on these, on these boxes. They just look very uh, untidy. But um, there is a reversible sleeve, and on on that you will find the synopsis and uh, the list of uh, supplements there. This is a region A and B set. So yeah, the reversible sleeve does have all that information. You gotta be real careful with these discs. Sometimes they split. If you put too much pressure, uh, this one's hard to take out. There you go. And I bet I got some fingerprints on that from pushing too hard. No, I guess not. So we're good. Oh yeah, see? There's some fingerprints there on, along the edge. I can clean that off later. But here is the other side of the sleeve. Um, I think I'll just keep this side. Il giorno della civetta. Mario wants you. Is that a gang sign? What is that? I don't know who this is. Let's see. Claudia, Claudia Cardinale. Lee J. Cobb is in this? Oh, that's uh, interesting. So this is from 1968. Apparently they're Apparently, there are two versions, a one hour and 39 minute version and a, and a one hour and 33 minute version. And look at that, it's in color. Isn't that nice? Yeah. The great, I'm sorry, the day of the owl. Claudia Cardinale. You guys like uh, this sort of thing? I'm kind of new to this, even though I have been collecting films from Italy for decades now, since the early 2000s. Well, uh, DVD was introduced in 1997, so uh, I've been collecting since then, but I don't know if this type of film was a thing so early uh, so early on uh, I don't think it was I think uh, this stuff kind of came into focus during the uh, early 2000s this is the other film the case is closed forget it forget it forget about it and yeah, that's Front. This is the back. The Italian title. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Franco Nero. This one's from 1971 hour and 38 minutes I don't like when they put uh, you know the running times they, they should put the exact running time like a, an hour and the minute the hour and the minutes this 108 minutes 
bullshit. Is just bullshit. Actually, this is 106 minutes. So it's one hour and 36 minutes. Yeah, just put the hour in minutes. What's uh, no? Don't don't give us don't give us the running times in in in, in this format. This is just you know just make things easier for us. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, not a, not a big deal. And uh, Mario Cecchi Gori. All right. So case is closed. And the third film, third and final film, is that one, How to Kill a Judge. Very nice, colorful artwork there. Lots of colors. Perché si uccide un magistrato? Francois Fabian. And the booklet. Oh boy, this is a really thick and heavy book. This is impressive, boy. This is really impressive. Wow. Look at that. A lot of essays. This is really amazing. Really amazing. Hard work there. Look at the size of that. It's got some really good heft to it, too. Good, uh, high-quality material there. So, that's La Cosa Nostra. Three films by Damiano Damiani with Franco Nero. Put that back. Yeah, uh, this is my first Radiance pickup. Um, this label is a bit hit or miss for me, to be honest. Um, the guy behind this label, uh, Francesco Simeone, who uh, used to work at Arrow in acquisitions, I believe. Uh, apparently, he uh, well, he set out on his own and started this label, Radiance. Uh, this is his baby. And um, he's put out, um, he, no, he hasn't been around long, but he's already put out several uh, films which uh, tend to be more on the art house uh, side. Um, when it comes to art house, uh, I, you know, it's, it's not really my thing, to be completely honest. Um, uh, but um, you know, I, I'll I'll go on a case by case basis, and since I do enjoy the um, Italian uh, crime films, or oh, uh, Polizio Teschi as they as they uh, as they're called, I, I do enjoy those. So I decided to go ahead and uh, uh, pick this up. This um, just arrived today. Today is the sixth of June, I think. And I got this from Orbit DVD. Um, so yeah, nice looking set, a rigid box. And I did also pre-order the um, Messiah of Evil box set from um, Radiance, which is coming out in October of this year. Uh, here are just a few pickups I made. 
also uh, this week. This is the uh, Burt Reynolds uh, film Hustle. This is a Paramount pickup via Kino. Kino Lorba. Kino Lorba is a label based out of uh, New York City, which is where I'm from. Um, this is a bit of an odd thing here uh, because Kino likes to do slip covers. But the art on this slip is the exact same art on the Blu-ray case, and there is no reversible art. So, in my opinion, if you're going to do a slip cover, you see there's no reversible uh, artwork. So, yeah, if you're going to do a slip cover, um, why not just do something different? than what's on the case. There's really no point in having the same exact art. Um, you know. So, it is what it is. That's just my opinion. Uh, but I do like the slips. Hustle with Burt Reynolds. Um, I'm Burt, kind of a Burt Reynolds fan. Um, yeah, I'm not into sports so I didn't pick up or I'm not going to pick up his football movie that they're coming out with uh, this is private parts <clears throat> a most bizarre voyage into the psychosexual this is from Shop Factory I believe it's a Warner pickup yeah there it is it's from Warner Brothers this is a film, where is this from? This is 1972. <clears throat> and it stars Gene Corman and some folks that I have never heard of. Director of photography is Andrew Davis. I wonder if it's the same Andrew Davis that directed The Fugitive. 1992 with Harrison Ford. It probably is. Um, I think this has artwork on the reverse side. And yes, yes, it does. It's. I think it's the DVD art. Yep. That's the DVD. But I think these. The. This is different. The font is different. Uh, the DVD featured different font, but this artwork was on the DVD. All right, so that's private parts. 1972, and finally there is Death Ride. Osaka, I think it's what this is called. Operation Osaka is the alternate title. Um, region A, B, and C. So this is a three disc set. It's got a 4K, a, a Blu-ray, and a DVD. I think this is a TV film. I I didn't I hadn't realized that I already owned this in one of those um, Fun City Editions uh, TV uh, movie box sets. Yeah, this is actually a TV movie from 1985, I think. And I picked this up without even realizing that, uh, but. You know, um, I do like to have cool stuff like these media books with uh, this awesome art. You know, I do enjoy collecting. I, I love collecting this stuff. So I don't mind having another copy of it. Even though I have not seen the film yet. I have not seen this film yet. 
So this is, I think it's called Death Ride to Osaka or Death Ride from Osaka. If I'm not mistaken, this is a TV film and this is from a company called Mediax. And this is a Diabolique DVD purchase. Okay, guys, that's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Take care.